Hey, I just have to say something to Raider fans who may be in favor of the Raiders being in Vegas or what have you. One can disagree with someone else on social media. That's cool. But to call names of each other or say, in my case, that I'm lying about something is really inappropriate. I don't have a reason or cause to put out information that's false. And to date, the information I put out every single time has been verified. For example, you were told that the Southern Nevada Tourism Infrastructure Committee was going to make a decision on the 28th of July, which would wind up in a recommendation to the Nevada legislature. I told you that wasn't going to happen. It didn't happen. I can tell you a number of different times you were given false information that didn't turn out. Not false information, but information that didn't turn out by others. I, was also, I also told you that the land deal between the city of Oakland, the county of Alameda, and the Ronnie Lott group was imminent. Well, it's in the process of basically being pushed through right now, but you have to remember the city council is about on recess, Oakland City Council. But also, remember this, that the city of Oakland and the county of Alameda spent over a half million dollars to have an appraisal done this year on the Coliseum. That's, that's part of a land deal, folks. You have to have the appraisal done first before you can do the land deal. So this process said motion, the money is let, the consultants are already at work as I speak. As I speak. And, yeah, we're a little bit past mid-August, but on the other hand, get this. I was never told an official press announcement was going to be made regarding this. I was only told the process. But you know that the memorandum of understanding between the lot group and the county of Alameda and the city of Oakland has already been signed. The Raiders have asked, and specifically Larry McNeil, stadium specialist for the Raiders and vice president of business affairs, that their dealings be kept out of the media eye. That's the way it is. Now, but I digress. My point is this. Be civil and mature in your exchanges, not immature. There's too many people who get on social media and who claim to be Raiders fans and they lapse into immaturity rather than intelligent conversation. No one gains anything by immature conversations. And also, the only thing anyone ever got by being threatening to somebody else was a visit by, from the police. Do not threaten people. Don't threaten me. Don't call me a name. Don't say anything to me that you would not say in person and if you would say something to me that's terrible in person, my question, is why, my question is this. Why would you want to make me feel threatened because I put on information that you don't, don't like or maybe have psychologically an issue with someone African-American being the pundit and the deliverer of news on a consistent basis about something? If that's the case for you, I really encourage you to seek psychiatric help. Get professional help to deal with that problem. It will get you in major trouble. Thank you.